Hey guys, Vlad here from Model Theme. Now you know we work really hard to make the products and features you request. So today, we're proud to announce the bulk NFT minting plugin which many of you have requested. We've tried to make it as easy as possible for you to use and configure, and we hope with it you'll be able to elevate your NFT marketplace website to the next level. The key features you need to be aware of are For starters, you can mint multiple NFTs into either a new collection or one you already have. It's compatible with any blockchain that uses EVM and Solidity, like Polygon, ETH, BSC, etc. You can deploy contracts to your wallet's current network. You can create collections on your deployed contracts. You can restrict networks that you want to deploy to. You can upload your assets locally or leverage them to Infura. To upload them locally, you'll also need the NFT Marketplace Core add-on and one or both of the Authenticator plugins. But the benefits are so much better. You won't be depending on any third-party platform to manage, mint, sell or trade your NFTs. But anyway, let's just dive into it and let me show you how easy it is to install, configure and mint your first collection in one go. First, we have to make sure we have an Authenticator plugin installed. Next, you have to download the plugin from ThemeForest. Once you've done that, you'll have to unpack the archive to get to the plugin file. Then, in your site dashboard, go to Plugins, Add Plugin, click on the Upload Plugin, next click on the Choose File button, then browse to where you unzip the archive, search for the file named WPBNM zip, and click Open, then Install. After the installation is done, be sure to activate the plugin. Once the plugin is installed and activated, you'll find the configuration options in the bottom part of the left panel under the Empty Plugin tab. Click on the NFT bulk minting and you are presented with the general setting page, which is pretty self-explanatory. In the second tab, the API settings, you can choose where you want to upload your NFTs either locally on your website for easy management and trading or to Infura to deal with all the hassles involved. In the network settings tabs, you can add restricted networks that you don't want your NFTs to be added to. This way you can weave out the ones that cost a lot or maybe don't help your use case. It's a pretty nifty feature if you ask me. One thing to make sure is to save after you modify settings on any of the tabs as each tab settings is independent of the others. Now, back to our API settings. This is the only required settings you have to make. If you already have the NFT Marketplace Core add-on and the Authenticator plugin installed and activated, you can check the locally option and you don't have to worry about anything else. The plugin bundle will help you manage your assets locally and your marketplace will be on your website. But if you choose Infura, you'll be required to add the project key and project secret from their website. To get those, first you have to create an account on app.infura.io slash register. Once the account is created and activated, you can log in and create your own new key by clicking on the create a new key button in the right top corner. In the pop-up that opens, select IPFS in the network field and next type in a name for your project. Then click create. You'll get a project rundown page that shows your project details where you'll find the much needed project key and project secret. Copy those and paste them in the appropriate fields in the API settings tabs of the plugin. Now click the save button to apply the changes and let's bulk mint some NFTs. The form for bulk minting is available through the shortcode displayed on the screen that you can paste in a text block in any of your pages. I already have the page set up here, it's automatically generated when you install the plugin, and when I open it, it requires me to log in with either one of the wallets. I will choose MetaMask and approve the login. Now that we linked our wallet, the form is visible. You get these two fields. In the top one, you drag and drop to your assets, and in the one below that, you drag and drop the JSON file containing the metadata. Keep in mind that the files and the corresponding JSON files have to have the same names. To help you have a better starting point and test your bulk minting process, we've included some demo images and JSON files with the plugin in the demo folder. 
Be sure to use a test network so that your wallet won't be bruised too much when testing these features. Next, you can choose a pre-existing contract or you can just create one. I will give my collection name, add a description to easily identify the contract when searching for it in the blockchain explorer, and add a sale commission for every time the NFT gets traded. Next, I click on the mint NFT button and we'll have to authorize the transaction gas fee three times. Once for contract deployment, once for multi-call and once for the actual mint. Now you're going to ask me, but Vlad, how do I get to see my NFTs? Well, since we haven't deployed them locally, we'll have to use the thirdweb.com dashboard. Once here, I just collect my wallet and I get all the transactions made through that wallet. And here's the one we just did. I click on it and it shows me all the details. If I click the NFTs option here, I can see my entire collection. If I had the NFT Marketplace Core add-on installed, I could have had them on my website, just one click away with all the bells and whistles I've told you about in the NFT Marketplace Core 2.0 video that I made a few weeks back. So there it is. I hope you found answers to your questions about how to bulk mint an entire collection of NFTs using our bulk NFT minting plugin. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and of course, don't forget to subscribe for more of these videos. Till next time, cheers!